Where am I? Am I dead? No, 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 this, this can't be. I refuse to die. I refuse to die. I refuse to die. It was a good morning that day, as I had been expecting my navigation flight this time. Before I start the story, let me introduce myself. I am a pilot. I'm a cadet trainee 61 AMS. Yes, that's my name, gentlemen. Alright, so at the start of every day like normal, I would go to my roll call with everybody else, all the other cadets. We would all take our attendance, the instructor will be calling our names, and then we'll be maybe sharing a bit of an incident story and whatnot. And then afterwards, it was time to fly. Weather that day looked really beautiful. As the sun was rising, it seemed like there was the light of hope. Hmm, there was checking the weather. The weather looks very nice today. Birds flying. Wind is really calm, as you can see the wind sock over there. And yeah, it's still in the morning, so there's not gonna be much traffic. And so I proceeded. I took my bag, went to the hangar, to my aircraft. And yeah, I look really confident. <laughs> I went to my aircraft. It's a really small aircraft with just one single engine. And I entered the aircraft, sit in my usual cockpit with this usual view. Did all my checks to the fuel pump, to starting the engine, to checking the radios and all those stuff, checking how the weather reports are, and yeah, clicking here and and so it was time. And so I called the control tower, the controller, I requested Trainee 61 request taxi for navigation as per flight plan to Cybertron 1 POB. 0500 hours endurance information Charlie QNH negative. And so that's the controller replied. Trinity 6 to what? You are cleared for taxi uh, to Delta. Taxi to Delta, Trinity 61. So I, I raised my hand to the marshaler to, in, to tell him that I'll be taxiing out, and the marshaler waved his hand and stick together. This way, this way, to the front, to the left. And so I just waved thank you to him. And so I entered the runway. And the runway is the place where you get this very nice view of the center line and the sky is seconds away from flying. And so the controller gave me the clearance. Trainee 61, clear for takeoff, runway 03, 1000 feet, left turn to Cybertron. Clear for takeoff runway 03 1000 feet left turn Cybertron training 61. And so I applied full power. And so I rushed and took off. Woohoo! I thought that was the moment. And then from the top view, you could see this is how the um, usual circuit pattern, meaning that's the runway, that's my aircraft there. And usually if we're doing circuits, it will have upwind, crosswind, downwind, base, and final, like a racetrack circuit. Now here's where things start getting a bit um, out of hand. I left turn around 800 feet, and I told the tower to set course to Cybertron at this time, estimate Cybertron at uh, 10100. And so I thought the controller would reply, clerk for Cybertron, report Cybertron. But instead, the controller didn't reply to me. The controller was calling someone else. Alpha 46, Alpha 46, do you copy? Report to your position. And then I heard the Alpha 46. Alpha 46, we are at downwind. Early downwind, Alpha 46. And when I heard that, I was like, Alpha 46 was at early downwind. It means he is somewhere. And I was making a lookout after I heard the radio call. Was, where, 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 where? I was starting to panic. I was like, oh my gosh, I don't want to die. Not yet, not yet. I was looking here, there, making all the checks left, clear, front, clear, right, clear. And oh, I still couldn't find him. It was a bit hazy, a bit up there as well. But it didn't stop me from trying to look everywhere. And then. 
I did something I never thought I would have done. I pulled my seat back to the a bit to the back, trying to look at all the positions, maybe all the blind spots, and BAM! That's where I saw Alpha Force 6. Super close, I could see the aircraft registration, I could almost see the pilot, luckily I didn't see it means I wasn't that close enough, but man it was still close and I was like shocked. I was about 1000 feet, the aircraft force, Alpha 46 was 1000 feet as well, and we were on collision course, oh my gosh, we were, if we continued flying, I could tell you in about 5 seconds, we were gonna crash, boom, I started to like, yeah. As soon as I saw it, my, my body stopped for a while. And at that moment, I started having flashes of my life. From when I was a kid, to my teenager year, and to where I am now, ending my teenagehood. And I didn't want it to end this way. I mean, I still have a life I want to live. At that point, it felt like... <sighs> where... Where am I? Am I... Dead? No, 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 this, this can't be, I refuse to die, I refuse to die, I refuse to And then afterwards I regained back my consciousness and immediately I turned in the opposite direction of the aircraft which is to the left. It was just in time and we managed to escape the incident without any harm done. Whew. Oh, that was a close call. And then the tower called. Train 61, train 61, do you copy train 61? And so I replied with whatever. And then the controller for sure asked me how I was. And I also contacted Alpha 46 to make sure everything was okay. It was just a bit of a communication uh, problem, miscommunication. But yeah, luckily everybody escaped that day unharmed. And so afterwards, after my flight to Cybertron, I came back and uh, I went to see the captain of that aircraft Alpha 46 and uh, I explained what was happening and yeah he, I thought he was gonna scold me and gave me like a disciplinary report or whatnot but apparently he was really nice I mean he said oh man it's it's okay man I mean so yeah let's just hope it never happens again and yeah he was really nice I mean afterwards we became like Good friends and yeah from that day on I was extra careful whenever I had to go fly an aircraft so did any of you guys have any incident like this that changed your life boy cuz this one sure did and I'm pretty sure you guys have your own stories to tell but anyway don't forget to subscribe leave a like leave a comment and yeah stay tuned for more stories thank you and keep watching ultra amps TV thank you